distortions and things. Yeah, perfect. All right. What it do with the business is, man. It's your boy Jeezy the Snowman checking in on Distortion 2 Static, man. Y'all get it cracking, man. Y'all keep up with us, man. That's what it is. You, uh, you say you're from Georgia, man. Explain to them where you grew up, you know, exactly just what kind of environment you grew up in, what it was like, man. I mean, basically, you know what I'm saying? My story ain't no different than anybody else's from the hood. You know what I'm saying? Basically hood cat, you know, single parent family. You know what I'm saying? Mom's mom dukes held me down. And I mean, you know, I mean it was rough for the most part, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't one of them type of dudes that cry over spilled milk, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I took the hand I was dealt and made the best I you know, made the best made the made really really made the best way I could, you know what I'm saying, to be honest with you. And I mean, you know, I had some trials and trills, but it worked out for me. Lost a lot of people to get to this point, but we here now. Cool, man. Well, explain to him the whole uh, snowman thing. Like, what's that all about? Oh, man? man, you know, snowman, you know, I got snowman from the hood. You know, I was basically, uh, you know, make a long story short, if you're from the hood, you're really, you, know, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, I was always with the cat. You know, I was always on top of my game. I always had the nice jewelry, you know what I'm saying, the nice pieces, the good cars. I just was a go-getter, you know. I was always on top of things, you know what I'm saying? I always had what other people didn't. Uh, why don't you let them know just uh, you know about the new album? Let them know about artists okay. that's on it. Yeah, man, July 26th, man, the movement has begun in stores. Let's get it, Thug Motivation 101. With a name like that, you already know what it is, man. Crazy features on that: Akon, Ti, Young Buck, Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? So it's definitely they shipping me platinum. You know what I'm saying? So that's definitely a good look. So I, you know, in July 26th, man, be at them stores, homie. And that's what it is. Okay, for sure, man. Hey, uh, the Bay Area is definitely known for, like, underground artists and, and independent yeah. artists. You know what I'm saying? So why don't you explain, you know, without, uh, you know, getting in trouble with your major label or nothing, you know, the difference between an underground label or independent label I and mean, a major label. An underground label is definitely the way. You know what I'm saying? If I could have stuck with it, but my, I had a good problem. I was doing too many units to stay independent. And it was like I was bigger than that. It was almost like the 50 Cent thing. It's like, you know, he was killing them on the mixtapes, but just imagine if he didn't, you know, take that deal, he wouldn't have sold those 10 million. But, you know, with, with the Yay area and the movement they got, you know, if you sell two, 300,000 units, you know, it, it basically, you know, equals the same money. But it's it just like me, I had to take one for the team because I got a team of cats already ready to go, so I had to take one for the team. But if you out there grinding, doing your thing, man, me personally, I say stay independent, dog. Stay independent till you can't take it no more. Like stay independent until your your method is not working anymore, because that's where the money comes in. You know what I'm saying? And, and even with then, take your numbers and go get you a label deal. Don't just don't don't sign with nobody just to be signing. You know what I'm saying? Get get your grind on. It's like because you, you that's the only way you're gonna be able to control your destiny. So like if you if you go to a label, they're gonna try to get you to do what the fuck they want you to do, and you don't want to do that. It's real talk. All right, man. Um, would you say right now that you've made it and that you're successful, that you've done everything that you wanted to do? Or oh no, man, I got so far to go, man. You know, I mean, I got a couple of ventures coming up: the Snowman Clothing Line, the Let's Get It Thug Motivation One on One Book. Uh, you know, my label deal. I just got that. Got the Boys in the Hood thing going. You know, what I'm saying the album about to drop. But I, I mean, I ain't nowhere. I'm a hustler, man. I can't stop. I want it all, man. I can't stop, man. It's like I want everything I could possibly have, and, and me and my team get any, any and everything they possibly need and desire. It's like I, I can never stop, man. I'll be doing this shit when I'm 80. That's <laughs> where, man. Uh, I think in general, hip hop changes really quickly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And you definitely have to change with the time. So, yeah. I mean, where do you see yourself in about 10 years, and, and where do you see hip hop as a whole? In about ten years from now, I mean, I'm hoping, I'm hoping I got something to do with that, and that's why I spit what I spit and say what I mean. You know what I'm saying? I mean what I say and say what I mean, because it's like you know, a lot of cats is kind of scared to say what's on their mind. You know, a lot of cats water their music down. I'm trying to, you know, be a part of just opening them doors back, them NWA doors, them uh, UGK doors, when people was really talking how they how they felt. So, and, and that's what I'm on. You feel me? That's cool, man. I, I always ask every uh, every person I interview this. Um, you know, you see a lot of hip hop artists in commercials and everything. You know, selling corporate products and everything. Um, like, what's your take on that? When you see an artist that maybe you grew up listening to, and you see them selling a product, or maybe an artist that you, you know, did a song with, and he's doing a McDonald's commercial, or he's doing a Coke commercial, something I, like that. I mean, you know, everything don't work for everybody. Me, definitely. That that's a road I wouldn't want to take. You know what I'm saying? Especially, you know, just what I represent and what I stand for. 
I mean, you know, but everybody everybody can't get it in like that. So people have to do what they have to do. My only thing is like, as long as you don't sell yourself out, man. The, the minute you feel like you sell yourself out, then you got a problem. You know what I mean? Because you don't want to sell the people who believe in you out just to get a little money. Because that defeat the purpose. Like you might as well just stay in the streets or did what you was doing if you're gonna make it this far and then and sell yourself out. You feel me? Word, man. We got a lot of teenagers watching the show. We got a lot That's of you know a lot of kids watching the show. I mean, what inspiring message do you have for kids that are in the rap oh, game, man. or just you know that may listen to hip hop that's maybe not as positive as it needs to be, or I just mean, I say even, even with my music, I give I give you a chance to ch to pick and choose, and you know just let you know the ups and the downs of being in the streets or whatever it is you're doing, you know what I'm saying. But my message would be, man, if if you really want to pursue this, just stay down. Sky's the limit. You don't let no hater tell you what you can't do. Like you can't like with the hating. Oh man, listen, dog. It's nothing. The hate ain't gonna get you no money. So anybody that ain't gonna do nothing to benefit you or do something constructive for you, don't even sweat it, homie. Stay down. You know what I'm saying? Keep God first and trap or die. That's what it is. All right, for sure, man. Just promote the album one more time. A website. July 26, the man. man. Y'all already know July 26, man. Album in stores. Youngjeezy.com, man. Get it cracking, y'all. Get it. I mean, you see me in your city, your state. Holla at your boy, man. Real talk. Album in stores is not a game. Go cop that. Real talk. Yeah.